Hey Vikes, I'm Allie and this is your Monday Report. If you are bringing an outside date or underclassmen to prom, you will need an outside date form. They will be available in the office on Wednesday. The deadline to complete the steps for AP testing is tomorrow. Cost is $94. Exams will be held during the school day. There is a mandatory VICET meeting for all those interested in trying out. This will be held Wednesday at 7 a.m. in the multi-purpose room. Bring your informational packet with you. Key Club has a meeting tomorrow morning in the library. Legally Blonde is this Thursday through Saturday at 7 p.m. Tickets are $8. There will also be break legs sold this week to support your favorite cast members. Let's check out what's been trending. Hey Vikes, I'm Kayla Workman and I'm here to tell you what's trending. The week before spring break, I asked you what are your plans for spring break and some of you guys replied to us on Twitter. Kale said, even though I don't go here anymore, he still watches the news. And his favorite part of spring break was when he slept from 4 p.m. to 8 a.m. Sounds like Eva Noble and Kara Dister had a little collision on the mountains. And Mary Morrison, on the other hand, while you guys were having fun, she went and had her tonsils removed. Mr. Cromey, he went and saw a concert in Kansas City. Have you guys seen the new Vans challenge lately? The theory is they always land right side up. And next week's show, we'll test that theory. Stay tuned to see if they do always land right side up. Have a great day, Vikes. Watch for the Vans Challenge coming soon. Now over to Josh with the weather. Happy Monday to you. Here's your weather forecast for this week. We should be staying dry Monday through Wednesday, but by Thursday, introducing a slight chance for a few pop-up showers. This is coming out Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. And also, warmer weather this week. So some isolated showers on Thursday, and then that transition from jeans to shorts occurs on Wednesday, temperatures pushing the upper 60s, so getting pretty comfortable outside by the time we hit Wednesday and Thursday. And checking out the seven-day forecast, you can see 61 degrees tomorrow, then 69 both Wednesday and Thursday. If we do get to 69, it would be the first time in over 150 days. Then here comes that wet weather Thursday and Friday. That's look like a cooler weekend is ahead. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about Devil May Cry and Seaman Reacts. Have a great rest of your day.